call to reverse the 2016 amalgamation of the Umjindi and Umbombela municipalities is being led by a group calling itself the Boya Umjindi Brigade. Our reporter Michael Apple has just returned from Barberton and joins us in studio. Good morning to you, Michael. Thank you very much for joining us. Just give us a, an understanding of the background that led to this unhappiness and these protests in Barberton. So this dates back to at least 2016 when this decision was taken to... Um, to join, to dissolve Umjindi and make it form part of Mbombela. There were various reasons given at the time. Kogta put out a report saying that Umjindi was no longer financially viable as a local municipality, therefore it needed to be swallowed by Mbombela, and that there would be benefits for both. That was the promise, at least at the time. Um, but it seems the converse was true. Umjindi was viable. Mbombela was in a lot of debt. So this was a way to get a hold of some of the resources that Umjindi had. Uh, at least that's the narrative behind those who are calling for this divorce, if you will, between these, uh, these two areas that now form, fall under Mbombela. So you have service delivery that is primarily suffering. And it's obvious to anybody who drives through that town. The roads are shocking. The grass is yay high. There is no sort of maintenance of any infrastructure that's there. This is a World Heritage Site that is supposed to be a boom town in terms of tourism. And it's falling by the wayside. And for the first time in my experience in having traveled to a lot of these little towns, you have various political parties, the ANC, the DA, the EFF, all agreeing on this particular issue that there needs to be a separation. Listen in to what Philip Minar, a DA councillor, had to say about their support for the idea behind the protest. Everybody agrees with that. Everybody in Umjindi fully support them there. But we don't support the violent way they approach the whole thing and which they did by forcing kids out of schools and that kind of things. We cannot condone that at all. But yes, it's true and it's a fact that the amalgamation is not working. So, yes, apart from the political uh, 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 reasoning behind it within the group and the infighting, there's definitely serious reasons behind that. In terms of the service delivery, there are serious problems in Umjindi. Such a worry for Barberton. You've also spoken to an ANC councillor. What is his appeal? So, as the viewer will notice, we've had to hide our identity. That's because speaking out against your own party uh, as a councillor is rather frowned upon. It and also can be dangerous. Very dangerous, uh, as I'll explain a little bit later. Um, and uh, he has an appeal for the leadership, not only of the ruling party, but of government, to say, why is it necessary that people need to start burning things before political leadership comes uh, to a particular community to listen in? This is what he had to say. Okay, well, we don't have that bite lined up, so just uh, transcribe or just tell us a little bit more about what he's saying. So, as an ANC councillor, he is basically elaborating on the fact that there's a lot of corruption there that is taking place, that the decision to amalgamate was, was certainly, it was a political decision. There was nothing uh, financially sound about mm. it. We have that by, let's take a oh, listen. Oh, let's listen. Yeah. It's a uh, um, World Council, but it helps me to say such, but if the president is listening, if the leadership of the ANC is listening, please, this is the time that you can come in and intervene to these things that are happening here. It can happen as leadership. You watch your AG's report speaks of so much fruitless expenditure. Nothing is happening. No SIU are coming. No hawks are coming. It can't be. We are saying we want to fight corruption. How are we going to fight corruption if we are saying things, nothing is happening? Our people are crying each and every day about our service delivery. We only want to listen when they go to the streets. That is not the type of the ANC that we want. The ANC has been an organization that listens to the people. But what have we become? 
Very concerned councillor, ANC councillor there in Barberton. Mike, what's going to happen next? What's the next step? The situation is quiet. Mm -hmm. After five weeks of on and off protests and, and service delivery issues, uh, the service delivery issues remain, but there are two leaders who are behind bars. They have been back and forth in court between either Barberton or Nelspreit um, for the last couple of days. They are yet to get bail. A lot hinges on the fact of whether they remain behind bars or if they are released, that may reignite calls in the community for that. So on tent or hooks at the moment. I'm monitoring that story for us. Thank you very much, Michael Apple on Barberton and the turbulence that that area has seen. A World Heritage Site, very sad to hear about that as well. Now